tei vera smother i hel nastan tack tack det er minst lättare för då räknar jag älskar det era lätt du väl ut utanför det kast och tack för mamma akkurat som inte sada show men det är inte det var så är er mamma ofta att ta planta och ta och ger allt det där men det är en dronker det är en dronker som kom fram till fjölten och säger det här som jag har det här som jag har visst du får brukt det här så är det tutt Och det är som Jesus leiter efter han leiter efter sin hjärta nu av finner jag folk finner jag folk och i haven finner jag folk som kommer vid tui som det här var så jag går vaska du kan bruka hett där så är det tutt. Och han säger ja gemar då. Och så tekar han då han tekar sig er fiskarna så brei och han tackar jag. Han tackar jag sikna jag och gå ut och vaska det där vaska ända vi. Det ända vi att det var overflow. Det var overflow av tui som blev givet. Och vaska gus det inte kunna bli overflow. Ända som att det inte kunde ge överflöd på var vis man inte gällt. Och det så är god där. Gud ger överflöd av tui som vi ger. Och det här som han inser är vi tvär att ge nu. Är vi ger till hans rörelse. Ger till Tora vet att det är god. Det här som jag inte är Det är kanske inte det. Men det här som jag har. Och han säger ja. Och han siknar då. Och ge det. Och det här är lite sikning för många. Visst du gäster in här. Och det är först för du är stil. Det är det finaste. Det är för folk som är i sitt. Visst du inte ger det. Så kan du absolut det. Ange press. Visst du. Det var inte först för du också. Det är som du är i det här. Men vi får att så är det något som Och min utfordring till oss här. Och det är att kunde vi täcka det här som vi tar gott. Jag finns det för. Jag vet att jag finns det för det Nu ger vi det efter till dig. Och det är det här. Bruka det här som du. Bara du kan bruka det till. Amen. Så vi får trycka på gott på att han får göra vid under vi och har mittlån, vi och har pengar. Ha? Att röka människor för hans röskuld. Amen. Vi har flera måter vi kan göra. Vi får sådana videor man lite Jag har kontnummer på terminaler, attre, på highlight påsar, plejer jag säga. Påsarna är rejäl i highlight. Det måste ni vara där. Två allt, det måste ni vara där. Här kommer man kontanter och sådär. Ja? Så gott att sikta dig om och vi brukar ha lite löte på det. Amen. Det är ju det. Fantastiskt. Och som vi långt har hört så har vi haft ett otroligt all week shoot här. Vi empower och vi får lyckas sutcha och få en förnämelse av kosta vi är så vi får inte se någon stått och video. Så man upplever att att man får en tanka och så händer nåka och vi får se man om det och kunna producera 
Ei så fantastisk skifte. Altså, jeg er så rørt. Jeg hadde jo tatt en flyer for kjørskolen til å mørke om til å ta oss som kvete vi er etter vi ikke skifte. Jeg vil gjerne takke til noen som snakker om meg, om du var i her eller ikke var i her, fyrer at de står sammen med oss om etter tiltak. Helt fantastisk. Det er blitt bie, og det er blitt rykket til, og det er blitt pinta, og det er blitt øve, og ljås, og røyker, og alt. Altså, det er sånn jeg, og det er blitt vasket, og kjørsvi, og bæka, og bonte, og... Altså, alt dette her til at kvinner skulle oppleve hver det er, og yes. Og det som var så helt fantastisk å røre den for meg, det er det at stande her og sutsje over en flokk av kvinnene over øtlene her og sånn noen, og jeg har ikke lamt det. Altså, det er så størst. Det var faktisk ombå fra øtlene og øtlene og lamt noen. 200 kvinner som pryser og går til sammen, som kommer fra Emeskund samkommen og Emeskund samfunnets høpen og kyrkjen og og kanskje slett ikke venner vi har vært i kyrkje til å samkomme. Og at vi kunne proklamere at vi er bedre together. Det var så størst. Og jeg er jo en av t-shirts som vi selte, og jeg holdt den her etter, men etter her, og vi tvei med en hånd som bare er ømmen av at vi er bedre sammen. Vi er bedre sammen til at vi er sammen med hver himmel skal feire. Vi er bedre sammen til at vi er sammen med hver nøren. Og som vi da ikke hørte om, at vi er en Pastor og puslespillene, og sammen gjør vi det hele tiden. Og Jesus har kattet hun til at bære menneskene på hun. Og at oppleve at det er i praksis, og jeg har langt hørt flere vittsborer fra kvinnene som var i her, hvordan de bare opplevde at Jesus møtte dem. Hvordan de opplevde at jeg ville løst der fra en arbeidere som tenkte der. Og ja... Så avansett hver du har vært, og jeg som puslespillen, og så tusen takk for det. Avansett om du har vært etter for det, hvor lyssen er om du har vært bygende hjemme, eller hva det er, så har du vært til å sikne alt av hvert land. Så når kvinner får en her hjemme etter, og har opplevet å være en rørder av hvor god det er. Så jeg har alltid det bæreste og størst. Man tar ikke ganske angst, og jeg har lyttet sammen med meg midt på innen. Vi gjør det mål. Vi gjør det mål. Vi gjør det mål, ok? Skal vi ikke si det sammen, avansett, hvor vi er det, eller hver vi er det, vi gjør det mål. Så vi sier, vi gjør det mål, 1, 2, 3, vi gjør det mål. Amen? Jeg har forstått at så mye at jeg kom trus til å spørre. Så 1, 2, 3, vi gjør det mål. Si vi så i mannen, vi gjør det mål. Amen? Og vi tar det. Har vi tatt en power som er... Ja, vi må ta oss og se om han mer om at det er et annet. Til så var sikten at har vi tatt en power, så er det her fruttje kvalt å lære det. Men et annet kommer en sånn der. Og vi slipper oppleve at Arianne våker etter i det her. Og til å være en stor heier av haftene her sammen med oss hun. Hun er en mektnær kvinne. Hun er en kvinne som avvisker alle stedens her som hun fyrer. Og hun er en kvinne som avvisker seg ut lokalt samfunnet, hun avvisker seg ut i om i heimen hun. Og hun har et hjerte som brenner for å sutte mennesker sett og frelse. Og han sier at det er som binder, som avmarsker, som gjør at du ikke får et liv, vi gøsker et liv som går til å kalle det til, så brenner hun for at mennesker har sett og frelt seg, og du vil med en annen skrive tilfelle, Keys to Freedom, likelær til å frelt seg, og du reiser en bok som vi selger, og hvis du vil ha videre mer enn til, så er det Annika Berg, men det er en stor, stor høye for meg, at vi også er igjen og vakker, hver gang skulle ikke reise oppe på Gjøen i Ortel Klapp. Go on, Morgan. Nice to see the men have been let out of the kitchen. 
Well, that's what men are talking about. Coach, don't act. Although to be honest, she did a really good job in the kitchen. Alas, I think I put you at the goal. I think you need to stay there and do that all again. Carbara, carbara. No, no, no. We're better together. No, I think we're better. It is such an honour to be with you all. A special hello to everyone watching online. Yeah. I would say you're probably staying home because the weather's bad, but it's not. Yeah, wow. Sunshine two days on the road. Fantastic. Sold for the I might come back. <laughs> so um, every year I ask God to give me a word for the year. A word or for you, Ireland. Oh, it started. No, yeah, that was not, that one was not planned. <laughs> we 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 just we were a comedy act, really. <laughs> you didn't translate that. No, I didn't. <laughs> I think they get it anyway. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Every year, I pray and ask God to give me a word, a phrase, a, 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 just to help me f- frame the year ahead. Yeah. Först är så bi i god om att göra ett år eller en setning och hur som som ska så att leva efter för jag är det. It's always a way for me to know what to expect, not just for Mercy, the organisation I lead, but for me in my own life. It's a better for the miskun eller att tänka så att Mercy som här spelar lojare, men också för mig personligen lojar. But this year, I feel actually the word he's given me is about more than Mercy and more than me. It's for his people. Och jag är helt det här året som jag finner är inte bara till mig inte inte bara till fällskapet mercy men till we are you that trust. And so I'm going to spend a bit of time this morning explaining what God said to me about the season ahead. So i morgon så får vi att för jag lutar dig vet inte om det här något som gott att ta vi med om tiden framöver. Usually they rhyme. Um, 2020 was the year of building with plenty. 21 yeah. was the year of the marathon. Pardon. Sorry, you, got, yeah. you can remember that. That's two <laughs> sentences. <laughs> I can almost make them up, you know, no problem. But <laughs> fact is, guys, all I say is that often the sentences that we find are 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 rhymes. Some of them is two two us to say you on. It doesn't rhyme. Twenty rhyming. and plenty. Yeah. Neck two or neck. Twenty one was very yeah. But it doesn't well, rhyme in fair ways anyway. <laughs> So, so I was expecting 2022 to be, you know, something to do with new, because yeah. it rhymes. So I that I that I to be new, and breakthrough rhymes as well. Oh, I said every breakthrough. So I'm thinking it's going to be breakthrough into new. Yeah, I said for sure. Because aren't we ready? We're all ready for breakthrough into new, right? But God corrected me. He said it's not breakthrough into new. It's follow through into new. I will break through and you follow me. And then he gave me Micah 2 verse 13. And I'm reading it from the message. And I think we have it up here, so you don't need to translate. Then I, God, will burst open all confinements and lead them out into the open. They will follow their king. I will be out in front leading them. I think God is calling for a time of repositioning. I think we've got used to being out in front. We've got used to asking God to come with us. Making our plans. Thinking of our strategies. Pulling together our events. Especially if you've been a Christian a long time. 
Och jag som en who is generally quite successful and able. We can get into the habit of just doing our life and inviting God into it. Thank you God that you are with me. Thank you that you are with me every day and all the things I'm planning to do. I think God's calling time on that. I think it's time to wait and see where he leads. It's so tempting to rely on our own strength and our own abilities. To put the responsibility for breakthrough on ourselves. Are we praying hard enough? Are we believing enough? Have you those to retreat? Have we caught God's attention yet? For, for the breakthrough we're planning. Are we doing all the right things? I think the time for self-reliance is coming to an end. Coming, coming to terms with the fact that we can't. Because we've been told we can. We've told our children, you can do anything. You can be anything. I think sometimes coming to terms and making peace with I can't is really, really powerful. Let me go to Luke 5, and I think we've got it. Yes, we do. Um, and I'm not going to read it out. I'm going to just explain the story. You can read it if you want to, but let me describe it to you. Yeah. Um, this is where Jesus is preaching to the crowds. Jesus, han er her, en fjöld. And he decides he wants to create a bit of space away from the multitude. I understand that. So he sees a boat and he says, can I borrow your boat? And he steps into Peter's boat. Moves away from the shore a little bit so he can preach to the crowd from a slight distance. On a side note, Oh, Jesus has really good boundaries. <laughs> he finishes preaching and he says to Peter, take this boat out into deep water and catch some fish. Peter's a fisherman, he knows what he's doing. He's been out all night because you catch fish all night, right? <laughs> and he says to Jesus, we've been out, we've done all that, we didn't catch a thing. And then he says, but if you say so, we'll go again. And many of you know the story, it's very famous. They go out and sure enough, they catch the biggest catch they ever have. Yeah. It's a miracle. So much fish that they have to call all the other boats to come and help them bring it into shore. But for me, this story isn't so much about the miracle of the catching of the fish. But more about the fact that Peter's best wasn't good enough. Peter was an expert. Peter, he was all about fish. This is he, this, he was experienced. Han är nick var runt. He had natural strength and ability and talent in this area. Han är naturliga styrka och talent för ju sån och erfaringar akkurat det här nu också. He did it every day. Det var nog en jord för every night. Every night. Sorry. <laughs> There we go. Here she goes. <laughs> He did it every night. I'm <laughs> sure it took very long. 
And he did it for years. Och här är Josh du är avus. His best, everything he could bring as a human being was not enough. Ja, och det allra bästa, allt det som han kunde ut eller göra som som en människa, det var inte nog. But it's also an interesting story about our response to that revelation. Men det är också en en intressant parti till det hur 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 svårt vi till det är uppenbarligen. Because when Peter sees the miracle, to the pastor ser det att undra. When he realizes his best is not enough. Så han också som ser upp det är att varska mina erfarenheter allt det bästa är då det är släkt nog. He bows down and he says. Lord, I am a sinner. Get away from me, he says. Move away. I am a sinful man. So, fatlan knä och sig kunde komma för när är jag en syndare? Han ser hela lögen jag gud. He feels his worthlessness. Han föler att är pura. Jag har ju inte vira. His failure. Är jag är jag är jag en kicksar? His inadequacy. Han är inte rätt att förstå. And he pushes Jesus away. Och det är stövn att som tror att Jesus pushade för oss. I wonder whether we have a choice in those moments. When we realize that our best isn't good enough. We can push Jesus away because we don't have what it takes. We can fill up on our own hope to trust Jesus pushed to have it back to up. Or maybe we draw him close because we know we don't have what it takes. Ätla hålla vid den nära, eller komma vid nära honom, tror jag vi vet att vi klarar oss själv. Do you know, as humanity, we have never been as advanced as we are now. Så människor så har vi ångat att vi är så väl fyra. We have more technology than ever before. Vi har öliga nätverk, utvecklade teknologi. We are better connected. We have more infrastructure, more expertise. Vi har öliga tätt knut på alla måter, infrastrukturen, vi har expertis i alla möjliga nätverk. We have never been more advanced than now. We did have the older version from coming from what now. It's never been more easy. It's never been easier to stand on our own two feet. Till och med att vi lättare att stäga att vi skulle äkta för att ta en boj nu. See the key for me in the story, in this miracle breakthrough, is the moment Peter decides to listen to what Jesus tells him to do. Det som är allt det är lite nu i så sjön att ha det miraklig händer till er att. Peter väljer att lusta efter Jesus. Ta Jesus blir en gärna någon annan än han heller. Despite his expertise. Självt om han var ut att det var inte fullt i nåt. He goes, okay, if you say so. Jesus, det tror jag att vi ska förlåta det så färre. And it's that decision that creates the opportunity for the breakthrough and the miracle. Och det är en kärn till här som ni just nu att att jag vill att att jag är möjligt att han tänker att det ska kan bröda jag som sysslar med jag. In this season, I believe God is calling His people back to His voice. For now, hold it. At least, from the end of the year, we have to do one. So, think we are good. Instead of catalogue, after that, hold the hands of the Lord. Back to His ability. After till that, from Him can. Back to a place where we need to choose to be obedient. After till that, there, how should we minister to Him and choose to act to Him? A call to intimacy and reliance on God. Han kallar också att komma tätt till hans sara och att kvila i honom och att vänka i honom. A call to follow Jesus. A kallar vi följa honom. Instead of inviting Jesus to follow us. Vi ska inte följa vid på honom när han kommer på ockar att land. Let me go to a story in the Bible. In 2 Samuel 5, we find the story of King David. Vi får att hitta och beskriva när det är när Sjöv så vi läser om i sådan samarbetsbrok om David kung. And we're going to read some of this. We've read this text. And I do think we have it in Faroese on the back. Yeah, I think we'll read it the first one after we've read it. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, they went up in full force to search for him. But David heard about it and went down to the stronghold. So David hears that there is an enemy gathering against him, and he chooses to go and. Situate himself inside a stronghold. David, he knows that the fortune that is around him, and he wills to fare in the borders of the Nuskansan. He creates space and time. He creates a atmosphere and time because he's about to inquire of the Lord. So that he, for that, he is going to be good on his stuff. 
Where is your stronghold? Where is your there? Jesus said he, he went there to pray often, you see in the Bible. Yeah. Vi läser ofta om att Jesus föll borste från att söka Gud. Och hon spelar kvar i åkare som Jesus för någon skatt i ett laborg. Kvar för att vita att hon säger Gud. Jesus withdrew to a place, yeah. to a space that he could talk with the Lord. Jesus han föll till ett ställe ett la. And we see David do the same. He withdraws into a stronghold so he can inquire of God. Do we have a space, a place in our life where we can withdraw to? And I mean really practically now, do you have an actual space that you can go? Because for many years I would have God with me on the go. I would pray in my car. Pray in the shower. Pray on the school run. Pray in the kitchen whilst I'm making dinner. <coughs> there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's very good. <laughs> But I began to realize very rarely did I go and meet with God. Just like in a in a re- relationship that means something to you, you need to create time together. It's same with our relationship with God. Can't just always be the every day. Create space and create time to actually connect with him in an intimate way. Alone. That's what Jesus did. He went alone. There is a, 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 a good thing about gathering together like this. But it can't be at the expense of doing it alone. Men tap kan inte göras och stäga en fyra att göra att söka god själv. Verse 18. Now the Philistines had come and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. I didn't figure out how to say that. So David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? The Lord answered, Go, for I will surely deliver the Philistines into your hands. So David went to Baal Perazim and there he defeated them. He said, as waters break out, the Lord has broken out against my enemies before me. Doesn't that sound like Micah? Mm -hmm. So that place was called Baal Perazim, which means the Lord breaks out before me. The Philistines abandoned their idols there and David and his men carried them off. There is a spiritual battle. They are an undone birthday. The fact that the Philistines abandoned their idols shows that there was more than just a physical battle happening. There was an invisible spiritual battle too. A battle for territory. A battle for kingship. And authority. Same thing, I know. Once more, the Philistines came up and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of the Lord again, and he answered, Do not go straight up, but circle round behind them and attack them in front of the poplar trees. As soon as you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the poplar trees, move quickly, because that will mean the Lord has gone out in front of you again to strike the Philistine army. So David did as the Lord commanded him. Notice that. And he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gezer. David inquired of the Lord again and again. And the Lord answered him. David han kvar för efter och efter det god och spurde han om att han skulle göra och god svära i He chose to take time out. David han valde att taga tvi till att föra söka god. Not to rely on his strategy which was excellent. Inte bara han han fyllde inte bara ut sin krukstrategi som säkert var ordentlig. Not to rely on his battle experience which was vast. Och heller inte bara att fylla ut att ha tänkt prova vilka kruk ordentligt ofta för så han visste ordentligt väl hur sorg skulle fungera. Not to rely on the wisdom of his generals. Heller inte att fylla ut 
Not to respond from emotion as the enemy gathered against him. Instead, he took himself away into the stronghold and inquired of the Lord. And God answered. Sometimes it costs to do that. A bit later on in the story, there's another battle in a place called Ziglag. Oh no, it's not in Ziglag, it's somewhere else, but they come back to Ziglag, oh, no. sorry. Ziglag is where their base camp is. David and his men have been off fighting and they come back to where their wives and children and livestock have been kept. David and they discover it's all been taken by the enemy. Every single thing. Every woman, every child, every material possession has been taken. They are heartbroken and they cry and they're angry. And they want to immediately go and chase the enemy. They are very powerful and mighty warriors. And they have just been stolen from. So the knee-jerk reaction would be to go. And once again, David takes himself away to inquire of the Lord. Can you imagine the strength it takes to do that? It actually says in the story that David was afraid for his life because his men were going to kill him. Because they, because they were so angry that he was inquiring of the Lord instead of just acting. But David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord spoke, and David obeyed. And everything was returned to them. At the beginning of the pandemic, uh, when it first kind of all happened, it was a time of panic and concern for every leader in every sphere of life. And as a leader of a charity that relies on the generosity of people, it was especially challenging. Yeah. So, so var det stor avbjørning. We have an excellent board of trustees and they were doing their job and telling us we needed to predict what it would be like if we lost 70% of our income. Ja, og vi tar en ordre gjør han nevnt, og vi måtte si du arbeider vi, og hva for å hente hvis vi mister hva 40% av hva enn tøkk. We needed to get ready to have to go into emergency crisis response. Og så måtte vi takke som gjør noen til røyer av fjerde og gi sier nei støvene faktisk. To write letters to our high-level donors. To make phone calls to all of our supporters. To ask them to give more, to help us through this season. But I felt the Lord say something different. To not go into panic mode. To not go into crisis appeals. In fact, what he said to me was, um, mercy exists to help people navigate the rough terrain of their lives. And if you can't navigate people through this rough terrain, then you have no business existing. This is the risk of inquiring of the Lord. <laughs> and so he showed me from the story in the... In, um, 
Oh, where is it? In Kings, uh, of the woman who has nothing left. Except um, a little oil. And the man of God tells her to go and collect all the empty vessels from everywhere around. And that while she's collecting empty vessels, that the miracle of the flowing of oil would happen. And God said to me, you need to collect everyone else's empty. You need to go and ask how you can support your supporters. So in the first week of lockdown, we started Facebook Lives at 12 o'clock every day. So first week when we locked down, or I mean, after lockdown year, so we have to send a live on Facebook on 12 o'clock day. Where each one of our staff would bring a word of encouragement to people watching. Here, some we, some Arbo, Arbo, a a mercy. We bring a to give a an opportunity to boost gap. We had a whole team of people calling every single one of our supporters to say, how can we help you? How can we pray for you? We had so many people say, I thought you were calling to ask me for money. We had people on the phone in tears. Worried about family members with COVID. Today, we're a bit shimmery on Fuskatara familians who had the COVID. Scared about what the future might look like. Bench and Om Kat that does Gusu Framtoin Sarut. And our incredible team prayed with them on the phone. Or Okra Fantaska team to bell with food I'm on at the phone. Encourage them from the word. Or Echel Damon is for Oregon. And in the space of about 10 months or maybe 12 months because we carried it on for a year. Yeah, or we as a Kaska Tutch, yeah, Kaska Tolo Armonar. Uh, we every Monday morning would gather together as a team and pray for individual people. So People who had emailed us or Instagrammed us or phoned us. I think we prayed for over fifteen hundred individual individuals. And we saw so many answered prayers. And by the end of 2020, not only were we, um, had we completely redecorated the home for the young women, 2020, I thought you said end of 2022. I was no, worried. by the end I of 2020. Okay, end of our income from our regular givers had increased. And for the first time, we had met our reserve um, amount of money that we need to have in our bank account to be healthy. Not only did we have uh, meet our reserve target, we had an extra £30,000. When you inquire of the Lord, and he answers, and you're obedient, Miracles happen. I'm here to encourage you today to take time out. Discipline yourself. Create space for you to inquire of the Lord. Choose to follow him instead of asking him to follow you. Get used to saying because you said so. Now I know for some people, recognizing the voice of God is sometimes difficult. You might question if you can hear him for yourself. You can, by the way. You just sometimes don't know that you can. 
but the other side of the question, what should you have at the children's or the cancer children's or the? But our material keys to freedom will really help you with that. Men, we are going to be able to learn the fact that her, her, can really learn the most thing. It's one of the early things we do straight away in the material. It's to teach you how you hear the voice of God. Because we all recognize his voice differently. But he is an expert communicator. And he will speak your language. He will find a way to communicate to you. So if you struggle with that, then I recommend you find Annika and find Keith to Freedom. And commit, commit to growing that part of your relationship with him. And as we close, let me just tell you this. When God spoke to me about this word, when he said it was time for me to position myself behind him, to make sure I am listening for his voice and following in his footsteps, and not running ahead, to inquire of him, I said to him, but Lord, I don't want to see the back of your head all the time. I actually heard him laugh. <laughs> and then he showed me this. He said, who says I'm leading you like this? I'm leading you like this. He says, I know where we're going. He says, I can lead you face to face. I don't need to see. I don't need to face where we're going. He is God. God can walk backwards. <laughs> can we stand together? Let's just take a moment in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, forgive us when we've been so busy. So busy making our own plans. Seeing the world ahead through our own lens. Asking you to come into our agenda. Lord, we take a moment now to reposition to slow down to locate you to position ourselves behind you thank you that your promise is that you would lead us into open spaces you lead us into new Thank you that you are a good leader. to commit to time with him. To dig a bit deeper. To reconnect. To reconnect. 
Sometimes we struggle just to be with him. Because we're so busy doing for him. And we have all the best intentions of sitting at his feet. And every time we try, something happens that distracts us away. There's an enemy at work. And his sole purpose is to kill, steal and destroy any connection we might have with God. Be aware of that. See it for what it is. And make a choice. I pray right now, Lord, that the people would have eyes to see that they would have ears to hear that they would have willing and obedient hearts in Jesus name Amen Amen Wow. Du välkomna vara resa standande. Tusen tusen tack för det. Thank you so much. Ariana, that was amazing. So good. Vi får bruka en liten lötte och vi får låsank och vi får utfordra det nu att 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 det fysiska stället som hon snackar om att att styrka sig själv som David gör att styrka sig själv och i Herren. Vi brukar nu en liten lötte här så vi stanta och i låshänsen och söka Herren och styrka oss och i honom. Amen. Så vi får syntja samman och så får det ända. Yeah, I 
Fërshtajt mish kur i vir fuqin të arstruj I vir mujn e kero e telë në në të të Jesus Amen. Lärt Jesu navn og runka. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Jeg var godt i rikta enda når han løte, og jeg var ikke lov til å snakke den her, og han snakket etter, og vi lukket deg gå i, men men, jeg var ikke til å si hjelp av meg, men men jeg får takke, Arianne, thank you so much for blessing us. It was amazing, such a good word. Beint, jeg skulle ikke gjøre den bravo, hun er en fantastisk hånd. Beint, jeg skal ikke gjøre det hjem for dere, hun omsett er en fantastisk godt. Tusen, tusen takk for det. Det er veldig alt skjulig og godt. Vi fører altså oss offisielt til enda. Jeg vet... Ja, vi tar en sang, vi tar en sang. Så vi enda vi er 18 år til. Så er kaffe så ordentlig rundt her. Jeg har alltid vekker i stedet vekker godt. Jeg vet ikke det. Njøter vekker det. Og her er en fantastisk vike. Takk for at det kom her i dag. Og lovpris er god til å se om vi gjør noe. Og til som er online. Jeg vet ikke hva deres kamera er nede bare nå. Her er en fantastisk vike her. Gleder dere å sitte at dere kom her. Neste av sånne dag. Og så kører vi da. Amen. How are you? Go away, get it. It is 
falt të sus të braqe
it.